Hey, here's a little good news, bad news for you. Bad news. Africa's western black rhino is officially extinct. Oh, that sucks. Way to go, humans. The good news. Japanese scientists cloned a fully functioning healthy mouse from one drop of blood. That's good and or controversial. Way to go, humans. Joe, is this story a, uh, a two for one? Yes, it is. Yes. yes, it is. Welcome to Source Fed Bargain Days. Come on down. Japanese love cloning mice. I can prove it. Click this annotation and you'll see a source fed video where we talk about one mouse they cloned 600 times. But now, they've taken it to a whole nother cloning level. By cloning a lady mouse from one drop of blood. She lived a totally normal lady mouse life and could produce totally normal lady mouse offspring. And tried her damnedest to break through that lady mouse glass ceiling to be an example of strength and courage for all other lady mice dominated by <laughs> misogynistic mouse men. <laughs> Looking at you, Mickey. Freaking misogynistic. <laughs> A single drop of circulating mouse blood was pricked from the tail of a donor mouse. Then they extracted the white blood cells. Then they extracted the nucleus from the cells. Then they got sexy and stuffed that nucleus into an unfertilized egg that lacked a nucleus. That's called science, folks. The sexy nucleus consummation is called somatic cell nuclear transfer. Mm. Japanese scientists are excited about this development because donors can donate without dying. Similar genetic strains of mice can be produced for science stuff. And they're taking steps towards large-scale production of high-quality meats in conservation of animals. Which which they could have done with Africa's western black rhino, which was just declared officially extinct. The last sighting of one of these guys was back in 2006, but due to poaching and a lack of conservation effort, they faded from existence. Which is tragic because this is a human failure. See, I think the species at the top of the food chain has a responsibility to all those lower tier animals, not to just totally dominate them like we do, but to protect them as well. It's a circle of life, yo. Mufasa stuff. We shouldn't be like a machine gun in the cycle. We should be people that enrich all the things around us. Dominate? and enrich. But here's where these cloning breakthroughs are intriguing. If you're not comfortable bringing a species back from the dead, which we might be able to do, then maybe you'll be all right with using cloning in a conservation way before a species goes kaput. Yeah, that's it. That's all we got. I yeah, mean, it's two done. stories, two ideas. Yeah. General, it's, if you, it, it, it's I mean, like an extra source fed video today. Yeah, it's like six. So, question time. If you could clone something five times, would you rather clone yourself five times or your significant other? Tell us why in the comments down below. Seriously, tell us. And I hope you, if you don't have a significant other, it's Okay. Just imagine it, and then yeah. answer the question. If you clone yourself and you don't have a significant other, they'll be too lonely mm -hmm. of you. Imagine if you had a clone right now, you could sit here, be taking all of this in, while your clone likes the video, subscribes to the channel, and clicks this annotation for more stories. And here's a little behind the scenes. Maybe, or maybe not, you can hear a car horn going off outside this office. My name is Elliot Morgan. My name is Joe Beretta. Shut up! Shut up! Would you please stop your hornage? Sorry, hornage. Yeah. Technical term. Science.